Sagittarius. This is your love reading for November 27th through December 3rd. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it resonates, cool. Let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, check your other signs. If you don't know them, just Google birth charts. Super simple to find out. Um, so I've already laid out your first five and one of them already flipped over. So let's flip the others and see what is up. <coughs> okay. Your overall king of cups. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be dealing with one, you don't have to be. But it is upright, so that's awesome. King of Cups is very loving, very warm, very emotional, very spiritual, compassionate, all that good shit. Your recent past, you have the Ace, the Ace, sorry, the Eight of Swords. Um, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius may mean something doesn't have to. This is the mental prison card. So there was a time in the past where you felt like you were stuck in your head, maybe stuck in a situation. Um, you weren't really, it was all in your head. It was just a mental prison, but it is in the past. So hopefully you have gotten out of this energy. Now in your present, you have, you have the Ace of Wands reverse. This is your energy as well as Aries and Leo, fire energy. All right, Ace of Wands reversed is lack of motivation, lack of energy. Um, for whatever reason, not sure. In your future, you have the karma card. This is the same as judgment. This is something coming up to be reviewed. Something could be something from the past, um, could be past life shit, you know, who knows, but it is something karmic coming up to be reviewed, but it is upright. So it will turn out in your favor, whatever it is for you. Now, in your outcome, you have the lovers. You know, that's awesome. You always want to get that upright in a love reading. It is a Gemini card. If you're dealing with a Gemini, you don't have to be, but it is a genuine connection and it is balanced. It's harmonious. It's connected. Everyone's doing fine. Okay, let's clarify. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius in their overall. Nine of Wands reverse. This is your energy as well as Aries and Leo. So this is um, kind of an exhausted, drained feeling like you don't have any more fight left. You don't have anything left to give. <coughs> it's where you've been like persevering for so long and now you're just kind of like, meh, I don't have any more. Um, with the King of Cups, though, that's that's a really good card, so I'm not sure why that is. But you just may be feeling drained um, over something. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands reverse. That's also a uh, lack of motivation, lack of passion, lack of energy. <coughs> oh. Okay. Knight of Cups to clarify the Ace of Wands reverse. Knight of Cups is more water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, it is young energy. It is relatively new. It's someone coming in and offering their cup. And I'm thinking this is the other person, this Ace of Wands is you. So you may be feeling um, low energy, not motivated, you know, not passionate, but the other person doesn't feel that way. So while you maybe just feeling you know kind of lazy the other person's coming in with their cup of love for you okay let's clarify karma karma also known as judgment is clarified by justice how cool um <coughs> Libra energy, you could be dealing with a Libra, you don't have to be. Either way, there's definitely something going on here that is karmic and in your favor. When I say karmic, it's not a bad thing by any means. Um, 
It's just, you know, everything is completely balanced and equal and fair in the way that you'd want a relationship to be. Um, with justice and judgment, both here, it could also indicate something legal, like a marriage, right? Clarify the lovers. Two of Pentacles, all right? This is juggling, but it's not juggling in a bad way. It's also it's also Earth energy, if that means something to you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, the Two of Pentacles, he's juggling, but here, let me just put this. You see this like rainbow going in between the two pentacles? Um, everything's in balance. He may be juggling, but he's doing just fine. He's keeping everything in the air keeping everything under control. It's all good. All right. Lots of balance in this reading. <laughs> you have two pentacles, the lovers, karma slash judgment and justice. That's, that's really cool. All right. Let's get you another advice card and then we'll flip the advice over. Interesting. As an advice card, this is weird. The Seven of Swords, this is deception, lying, cheating, stealing, whatever it is. Um, and it could be deception isn't always bad, right? Um, say, like, we keep secrets because we're planning surprise parties and shit like that for people. That would be an occasion where, it, you know, you'd want to keep something hidden from the person. <clears throat> so, as an advice card, it's just make sure that you're always honest, unless it is like a surprise type situation. <laughs> make sure you're being honest with yourself and everyone in the situation. And your other advice card is death. This is telling you to let something end that needs to end. It doesn't have to be this relationship, and I'm sure it's not based on these other cards because it looks great. Um, it may just be a way of life or something may need transformed, okay? Just let it happen. Transform whatever needs transformed and whatever needs to end. Um, I'm going to pull one more clarifier for this Nine of Wands up here because I'm not sure why that's the way that it is with how good the rest of the reading is. Clarify the Nine of Wands up there. Hmm. Eight of Cups. Reverse. This is a not walking away from something that was disappointing. Again, those two cards do not go with the rest of the reading, so. Hmm. Huh. Maybe. Uh, hmm. I'm going to pull another one, guys because that has me confused. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Okay. Six of Pentacles. This is balance, again, so much balance in this reading. Um, this is balance, it's equal give and take. It's shared resources, so maybe there was a time where, and I think this is a completely different relationship, I think that um, you were feeling exhausted, drained, and it was hard to walk away from something that was disappointing. So you might have put it off for a long time. Um, but I think that you did because now you have this King of Cups energy, which is awesome, with the Six of Pentacles, which is also awesome. So there may have been a point where things weren't balanced, either with this person or another person, but now they are. But I do think that you are still tired from whatever that was. Let's clarify judgment and justice over here. What is this all about? Hmm. 
Ace of Pentacles. It's a new beginning. It's stability. Um, could be a lump sum of money. I mean, if this is a legal issue. Um, either way, it's a brand new stable beginning. And Aces are gifts from the universe. So, good to go, guys. All right. Take care.